All right, so I made a mini album, a Halloween mini album. It's only two, it's only six pieces of six by six. I made a small one, my first one. So it's not decked out in glory like I see others, but to be honest, I'm not really that kind of a person anyway, so it's hard for me to layer and layer and layer when I'm not crazy about it. I mean, other people's projects are gorgeous, but when I do it, I think it looks horrible. So most of the time mine is simpler the better, but this is my first one, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, but it came out cute. So this is what I used. Um, on one page, I used this washi. Let me see if I can get that light here. Uh, I used that washi. I used these little gumdrop things I had just gotten from Hobby Lobby. I used these little bull clip things that I had gotten from Tuesday morning. I use these um, Tim Holtz sticker book curiosities. Um, I use some of those words in there. I use this die from AliExpress, um, this piece and the, the card piece. I use this tag die from Alina Crafts on an AliExpress that I've had for a while. I've had both of those for a long time. And the main paper pack I used was this Bewitched from Echo Park. Um, if you've watched my hauls, I've hauled two more of these and I still ha had one that I had started, so which was my purpose of buying what I did. Um, I just love that collection and I actually don't have much left. There's one full sheet in there of some cut aparts that was an extra page I had bought that I didn't even realize I had until I was looking through something the other day and I found it. So that's really the only full sheet in the rest of it scraps. Then I used, um, this is a Michaels paper pad, a new one. Now my lights in the way. Um, and I don't remember, oh, I used a couple cut aparts in it. And this one from Michaels, I used to cut apart. It was one of their new ones. And I used one of the punch, sorry, used one of the punch outs from this one. I think that came out last year or the year before. Uh, it was last year. That's what I used. So here's what I have. Um, this is the, the front of it. And then this is the first side, the first layout, I guess. There's a picture for here. And then this little journal card that I had, this is what I used from Allie, that die, it comes out. That was the first one. I can't put anything on the picture side because the pictures aren't in here. So that's another reason why it doesn't look like a lot of other people's because I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. But this is layout number two. So this was that Alina Craft die. And then this was one of those, that cut, that die cut piece from Die Cuts with a View punch out. And then there's a place for the picture. And then that's where I used the washi. And then this is the third page. So this is the journal one spot. And then that comes off just so they can clip their picture in there. This is actually glued down, but they can clip their picture. I did that. And this is the next one, this is the journaling spot. 
And then this one, I actually hot glued this clip in there so they can either attach their picture to this or just attach their picture period. But I put that in there and it's hot glued, so I hope it stays. That was the next one. And then the last one is this one. And this is where I used from Michaels. Uh, this was the picture one. And then this one I put in there for the journaling one. And then I can get it closed. There's the back. So, I think it came out, came out cute. Like I said, it's my first one. So, um, again, I'm not... I'm not a frou frou -y person with flowers and everything, and I'm not a layering person because, again, I don't think it looks good when I do it. But for the first one, I'm happy with it. And I forgot to mention the chipboard I used was from some little B 6x12 chipboard pads that came out. I think the package was dated 2015 from Tuesday morning, so that was what I cut in half for the, the chipboard pages. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. Thanks.